Aloha and welcome Aloha. back to Movement Islands on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm Christine Linders, your host and physical therapy orthopedic clinical specialist. I'm happy to be broadcasting remotely today during this extremely difficult time as we all hunker down to slow the spread of COVID-19 in our community here in Hawaii and worldwide. Today, we're continuing Shoulder Injury Prevention and Treatment Month by talking about exercises to save your shoulder from injury during the taxing sports activities such as body surfing. Sam Lau, longtime competitive body surfing, and I will be talking about how he managed to keep his shoulders healthy and be able to continue body surfing competitively for over 45 years. Last show, we learned about the anatomy and biomechanics of the shoulder, as well as stretches to perform to decrease strain on the shoulder and rotator cuff. And as promised from last episode, today you'll learn the top exercises being used by competitive body surfers to keep the shoulder healthy and game ready. Let me welcome Sam Lau, longtime competitive body surfer and inspiration for this talk. Aloha, Sam, and thank you for joining me on Movement Matters. Good to see you. I'm, yes, I'm, well, I'm so happy to be here. It's a little different. We're doing things remotely, um, but how are you doing with the whole COVID-19 shutdown? Are you doing okay? Is everybody safe? Yeah, everybody's safe. You know, you know, we have to acknowledge, you know, what's going on out there and do our part to prevent it. And so I think that um, that that all safe and well so far. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. So just so that the viewers can get a nice little sense of uh, Sam's love for the sport of body surfing, let's go to the first video and we'll get a little uh, ah right now. Yeah, typically body surfers go in with pins, but and this That's day I chose incredible. not to. So these videos right here are courtesy of Greg Hens, and let's see the second one. This was a couple days ago, right, Sam? Yes, it was a couple of days ago. Wow. So tell us a little bit about. Uh, the fins and why you're catching the wave, where you're catching the wave there. Okay, so body surfing, like all surfing sports, the um, the initial goal is, of course, to line yourself up to catch a wave. And what um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your body or your board the speed of whatever you're riding up to the speed of the wave. And once you once you do that, you're on the wave. You're now riding the wave. Typically in body surfing, you'll have um, your water fins. Um, two feet, uh, two fins are preferable. You get the most power, the balance. Um, the day you, I did shot the video, I, I went out with no fins in. It, it's a little trickier that way, but uh, <laughs> if you have that strength, you can. That's right. So you need, I mean, if you're not going to be kicking with fins on, you need to have extreme strength and power in your in your upper body to be able to get into that proper spot on the wave is that right right and to get up to wave speed but it's also timing too you know where you how you position yourself in the wave and timing and that that comes with experience but yeah you, know, you know to float around out you know to get off the sand and to be floating around you know there's you know there, there's you know some physical training that you have to you know undergo to to do that so even with it you know you'll be out there if you're you know you know surfers will stay out there for hours on end and you know body surfers you know we do almost the same thing you know we'll go out for a couple two hours you know and you, you need the training you need the, the the physical ability to do so i think that's great so we had we met in the gym and we met in the gym when I was on crutches, actually, and you shared your story about how I had just broke my ankle and I was in the gym on crutches, in a boot, 
doing the arms and working out. And you came out to me and you said, that's great. I love it. You're so going to stay moving. And you, you hurt your arm as well. You told me the story. So tell us like what, what happened? When did it happen? You broke your clavicle, I think. Yeah, that, that was very, that's very funny because that, that was one of the things that I, that was, you were there, man. You were just there, you know, grinding it out, which is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Um, which was, you know, something I found out was a good thing, you know, from uh, yeah. my own physical therapist, because this happened, um, my shoulder break happened almost two years ago. Um, yeah. And uh, I was just messing around at Sandy Beach and I was I disregarded all the rules and I ended up landing on the fan on my shoulder and it broke. Oh. So, you know, a long story short, you know, my physical therapist friend, was also my lifting partner was um he had you know said yeah you broke your clavicle and that evening we put it in the sling he told me you know for a couple of days you're gonna have to rest and just keep everything stationary which is what i did i you know um i thought you know by the third or fourth day i was starting to get a little antsy and, and so i went back into the gym and <laughs> on the affected side of course, you can't do anything, but I was doing minimal exercises just to keep blood flowing. And I didn't know that that's what I was doing, but, you know, that's exactly what happened. I was doing minimal exercises just to keep the blood flowing, and it actually helped the healing process, which was really good. Oh, that's fantastic. I love how you said keep the blood flowing because the blood is like food for our body it's nutrition and that's what we need and so for people that are injured and laid up there's things you can do if you break your ankle or you have acl you can be moving your arms you can be squeezing your glutes you can be moving the other leg and with a with a shoulder injury i know i've had so many of them and, and you as well with this broken clavicle which is this bone there right is. here and there so you need to keep moving and, and using the other side is very helpful, even if you're just doing exercise with the other side, because the brain, I know this is a concept that even as 23 years of physical therapist, I still find it difficult to grasp, but the brain doesn't know right and left. And I remember we did it with stroke patients in my first physical therapy job in San Diego, where we had them use the side that was not paralyzed. And we watched the paralyzed side start to work because it was flaccid. It couldn't move at all. And so getting nutrition and moving riding a bike doing some arm curls on the other side anything that you can do to keep the blood flowing sam that's awesome can help to heal a bone a ligament a muscle a tendon everything so i think that's fascinating so i didn't have this last show but for people that are watching just so you get a little brief tidbit this is looking oops this is looking from the front so this is the underside of your shoulder blade where it sits on your rib cage. Here's your your arm bone right here. And this is the joint capsule. This is where your chest bone and your sternum would come. And these bones right here on us, these bones come out and they attach to your shoulder blade out here. And this space right here is where a lot of people get shoulder impingement from this bone riding up. And a lot of that's poor posture from sitting at your laptop. And I know we're all gonna be doing a little more sitting lately now that we're we're home and we're hunkering down to make sure we halt or slow the spread of this virus. Um, so I just thought that was valuable. So now Sam, you have some exercises that you've been doing to keep your shoulders healthy, to be able to launch into those waves without fins, launch into those big waves with fins. How did you come up with that routine? Okay, so um, a lot of it, um, you know, I give a, a lot of credit to my former listening partner. He was a physical therapist. In fact, a lot oh, yeah. of the routines that I do, a lot of the routines I do incorporate other movements, you know, not only in um, a shoulder, but other other parts that he, he has showed me that he's used, you know, with other patients. And, you know, you can modify it to, to be more than a, just a therapeutic exercise. And so, you know, it, it came in real handy knowing these things ahead of time when it came to the healing process. Uh, you know, the um, I think the the ability and the openness and the willingness to to do the work and 
to uh, incorporate these things is really key, you know. And you know, I, I really, I really want to be able to do this. I, I really love to body surf, and you know, as a, you know, as a, you know, competitive body surfer, you know, it's it's been a while since I've been in a uh, a contest, but I come, I you know, on a daily basis, I'm competing for waves. I I, I want the waves, and that's yeah. You know, I want, I you know, for me, a set that goes unridden is waste is wasted energy. I love it. The wave is just a, a big ball of energy, and I love being on it. I love being a part of it. And so that gives was me a chill. good driving <laughs> driving force. A huge driving force when it comes to overall healthcare because you want that. You know? So it's it all yeah. works. Together, you know, and because I'm really I, I love it. I love body surfing. It's, it's served me well. You know, other than this clavicle, I, I really haven't suffered any serious injuries. Knock on wood. Um, knock on wood. Right? Because the body's open, you know. So, uh, the the exercises were taught to me by the physical therapist. And okay. And fortunately, I was doing them, you know, before the injury, and even the, those days right after the injury the affected side in the sling i was just i was even just grabbing like a um, like a like a tension ball you know how you have those um yeah. ball i was just squeezing and then after a while i had like a two a two pound dumbbell and i was just doing small little wrist curls like this you know just to keep the blood flowing in my arm bringing it down and he said yeah that, that was a great thing to do and yeah. uh, you know as, as i went through the as i was progressing through the injury i was learning too because you know, this is the first time I really had an injury like this and had an opportunity to approach it and remedy it from a comprehensive you know, perspective, you know. So he was telling me all the things that I needed to do other than the exercises, you know, which is, you know, heat, ice, um, making sure it's, uh, you minimize scar tissue buildup. Yes. So he, was doing, he was telling me a lot of different things that, 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 that just really helped him. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm going to give a quick shout out. His name is Landon. Landon, thank you. Yeah. Great job, Landon. Way to represent physical therapists. So I think, I mean, you gave me goosebumps when you talked about how like wait, missing a wave is a waste of energy. It's so inspiring because it's great to watch someone talk about something that they love so much and they're so passionate about, which you love body surfing. And and also, I liked your point on how you said the willingness, it gives me chills again, the willingness to put in the work because if you if you want something, I know that this coach at Seton Hall University, his name was Scott Mose, when I was a senior in high school or a junior in high school, he said, and he had the sign on his desk when I was recruiting, it said, wanting it is so much more than just saying it when it comes to anything in life. And I think if you want to body surf if you want to not have pain when you're playing with your grandkids if you want to get to the next level in beach volleyball like in, in my case or get back after a shoulder surgery the wanting it is more than saying it and you put the nail on the head which is the willingness to put in the work and willingness to put in the work can mean so many different things for so many different people it could be that someone's doing five minutes of something a day or you doing your wrist curls or me doing my little finger things and my hand exercises when I was in my sling. I think that's, it's awesome. And, and so we're gonna go to a brief break, Sam. And for those that you are watching, I'm Christine Linders. I'm here with Sam Lau. We're talking about the shoulder exercises that you can do to keep your shoulders healthy in an activity such as body surfing, which is very taxing in the upper body. And when we come back, Sam's gonna show us all his secret exercises, stay tuned. Aloha, I'm John David Ann, the host of History Lens on Think Tech Hawaii. History Lens deals with contemporary events and looks at them through a historical perspective or what we call a history lens. 
Uh, the show is streamed live on thinktechhawaii.com. Thanks so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. Mahalo and aloha. Welcome back to thinktechhawaii.com. This is Movement Matters. I'm Christine Linders, your host, and I'm talking with Sam Lau, competitive body surfer, about the secrets to keeping your shoulders healthy while you do your sport that you love. So Sam, you were just telling me something in the break that was so great about what inspires you to do these exercises for your body and for your health. Can you tell me that again? That, you know, um, it's basically twofold. One, I would love to elevate the uh, sport of body surfing. And that's why I like to train and to do the things I do in the water. But a, a real big uh, component is just my overall health. You know, mm -hmm. I want my body to move forward as a whole being healthy. And this is a huge part of it. Of course, nutrition is and, you know, getting proper rest. But it's 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 a health it's a really uh, important health component that that I really believe in. It has to be there. I think that's I think that's great, and I know that one of the best things that can bring us positive endorphins is health is doing something that we love. And I know that when I've been injured and away from volleyball, but I could work out in the gym and I could work on projects. When I first got to play volleyball again or pepper volleyball with one of my friends, I was elated and overjoyed. And the healthy benefits that I felt in my mind, my body, my spirit were unbelievable when you're doing something that you love. And I, I can relate to that. I can relate to that. So let's, you also mentioned something, the key to longevity. Tell me what the key to longevity is first. Cause I think everyone wants to know that right now. I think, I think, Everything we've talked about, you know, um, the, you know, the, just the overall health, you know, I, as far as the physical aspect, you know, the working out is good. Swimming is incredible. You know, it's a non-impact yeah. sport it, and, 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 uh, it's it, card, the cardio is incredible. So that, that is a good part. Um, getting rest is, you know, getting good sleep. I like to get at least six, seven hours a day, um, in, in sleep. Which I do, and now, and we can get, now we can get more if we're not running around working so crazy, right? We can really rest. <laughs> and, and of course, your diet—you know, eating well, you know, and and and, and also enjoying foods that you really like. That, Let me I mean? see. Do you still have something there that you can show us? Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! Wait, move it over. Move it. Oh. Wait, other way. I know that way. Oh, no. So that's where we need to stop up and while we're hunkering down. <laughs> I wish I could get no, some to yeah. the camera. The, uh, yeah, it's no, in moderation, you know, you just, but, you know, it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to deprive myself of all the fun things in life, too. You know, I, I, I want to have fun. That's a big yeah. thing for me. And I think being healthy and enjoying the sport I like is yeah. fun. You know, it's, it's really fun and great. being competitive about it, you know. So let's look at those exercises now, your secret exercises of what you do, part of what you do in the gym. I know this isn't everything, but I think the first video, if you want to talk us through what you do while while the videos are getting played, please do, Sam. Let's show the videos. Okay, cool. okay so the first exercises are also always rotator cuff exercises. This is the, this is the um, I, a dumbbell. I, you know, I, I'll do this one arm on each side, you know, 12, 15 reps, just keep it light. You know, um, yeah. you know, I like to keep my arms as properly as I can. And then I do a, a I do a, a, it's a rotator cuff where you would raise this upward movement. Excellent. I do this one all the time, pre and post volleyball. So, so, and so yeah, vital. And you can see the form, you know, I, I had the camera person come to the side so you can see how I like to bring it up. You know, keep my, I like to keep my uh, positions, which is which is important too. Yep, that's great. That's great form. And now you're gonna use you're gonna do the next one, which is the, your power move, right? That's your pulling into the waves where you use the pulley. Uh, this is a this is again another rotator cuff move. I do yep. have um do have specific exercises for um, body surfing that I do. 
Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't think we took video of it, but I, and I actually, I didn't, I didn't want to because those are my, those are truly my secret exercises. <laughs> Well, you know what you know what you could do. Well, if if you're not going to be working too much right now, you know what you could do is you could write a little booklet on it, and uh, we'd all be happy to purchase that. You could do a little ebook on Sam secrets to uh, finless body survey. <laughs> right, so you know, the, we've done stuff. Oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. My my phone is just going to jerk off. Hold on. Turn it off. No, you know they're they're. they're as much as they are, they are, they are we're calling them a, a secret. Um, yeah, they're really not. I mean, you know, they're, they're really common sense. You know, you just just apply a little physics, and there you have it. You know, I, I do a lot of things that I do a lot, but I I want it though. That that's the big thing is that's that's what I want to do. And if I'm going to do anything with the sport or elevate it, this is how I want to do it. So I get that. I can I can feel that. And so now you've done your rotator cuff warm up what's the next exercise i think you start doing some bigger muscle group presses we can right, check out that right. video yeah so I, I i i i do one arm shoulder presses so i get symmetry in my shoulders so i'll do okay. right there you see me doing left arm and you saw my my position from the side and from the front so i'll yeah i'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll dip it down to different um uh different areas you know i'll go down lower i'll go down um i'll go up higher but i i want to you know get exercise in the whole the whole shoulder so that that's a, a pushing up and that, that's from shoulder up it's good you know with body surfing your your arms are your your fins your surfboard your guide arm and so the all the power and the water that's on you as you angle yourself in the water that's a huge amount of force on the shoulder joint which is pretty much the most multi axial joint that we have in the body so you need the power from not only the smaller rotator cuff muscles like you showed in the first three videos but of the bigger muscle groups to be able to stabilize that joint while you have i don't even know how many pounds of force and moving force acting on that joint while you plane yourself in the water that's that's impressive so yeah, and and you know when you talk about that, the just the um, you know the the um, the shoulders play you know like you're showing the the model of the the shoulder how it ties into the back and that that's huge you know and I think that uh, uh, if if you really want to excel that these are the things you do you you focus on the areas you know it's it's interesting you know swimming swimming without fins is what 70 75 80 percent i don't know 85 percent upper body but once you throw the yeah. fins on it, it actually changes to more like almost for me at least my experience is almost a uh, 60 40 where 60 percent now is in your legs and 40 percent in your upper body and that's how much power you get out of fins so as a competitive body surfer you know i you know, the shoulder has to be in good shape oh man i mean that's that's the case. I, I, you know, if my shoulder goes down, I can't body surf. That's it. If if no. my if my one of my legs is sore, I can still play around with it, you know. But so it's um. But I get I get a lot of boost out of that gym just taking care of the whole body, and especially the shoulder. You know. Yeah. No, it's great. I think I think we have one or two more videos left of you doing. Oh yeah, two more videos left of you now working some. Right. So this I did. This is a, a this is just a um, upright rows with a curl bar, and um, okay. this as you notice the, the movement stops starts on the bottom and then stops pretty much at shoulder height. So I, I like Very to uh, do a pull from that. As you first as you notice the press, you would be pressing from shoulder up. This you're, you're from lower and you're bringing up this way. So I like to get to attack the shoulders from different different. No, angles. very good. Very good. And so now the last video that you gave is a branch mm -hmm. off of this. So now you're doing a. I'm doing a lot. I'm, doing a, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say more in the range where the shoulder becomes more vulnerable, where you have to have that strength and stability. And I, you know, you're using dumbbells and, you know, this can be a dangerous range for a lot of people that don't have good posture and that don't have good form. So I love <laughs> that's a great face i love watching how you're meticulous about your form and you're meticulous about shoulder height and above and not coming down beyond or 
down here to shoulder height, you're focusing on your mechanics and your form, which is, and physics, like you said, it's all physics so that you don't hurt yourself strengthening yourself so that you can do the sport that you love so much. And that is awesome. And that, and that movement, if you notice the dumbbells are very small and you're absolutely yeah. right. It's a difficult movement. And I start off with really light dumbbells because you, you know, the, the shoulder can, like you, you were saying, the shoulder can be so vulnerable right, to injury. So I, I start off really light and I end up pretty light. <laughs> I think that's great. So we have about uh, two more minutes left. Uh, you want to wrap it up and tell everybody one last little tidbit of how you've been successful all these years? Well, I, it's, you know, for me, um, it comes from just loving the sport. Now, fortunately, I was, you know, very active family and we, we were um, promoting, you know, sports. But as I go old, as you get older, you, you know, you want to be, more than just being competitive in the sport, you want to be mindful of your health and, and your, your your body because you know your body needs to serve you and and you have to take care of it. So I think that for me, it's one way of taking care of it and saying thank you. You just thank you, my body, and by taking care of it, you know, and and just with the work, I I get the return. You know, I get to enjoy something that I really love to do. I love to do other sports, but body surfing is far and uh, far more uh, important and much more fun to me in my life. So it, it's well worth it. I, that's great. That's a great message for all of us, especially, especially now. So we're out of time. Thank you so much, Sam and everyone for joining us today. And thank you, Think Tech Hawaii, our sponsors and our donors for allowing us to bring this to you. In light of this very difficult time due to the coronavirus, I urge you all to stay safe wash your hands frequently, avoid contact outside of your family if possible, wipe down your groceries and your hands after pumping gas or opening mail, drink water to stay hydrated and do something enjoyable to keep your food elevated during this stressful time. Let's put up that last image if we can of the beach. It's important, look at family or vacation photos, call an old friend or family member, watch something funny. Being happy releases endorphins, which improves our immune system function. And as always, life is better when you listen to your physical therapist. Stay safe and see you in two weeks. Aloha, everyone.